Hello everybody, I'm Charlie Atkinson and today I'm in East Sussex to see the guys at JLC Group. Now, this is a company that specialises in everything to do with aviation equipment, but we've travelled down today to see one thing in particular. This is the No Smoke. It's a fully electric beach buggy inspired by the automotive design of the 1960s. So, of course, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about it, including range, charging, price and everything like that, as well as getting behind the wheel to tell you exactly what we think. We have had record temperatures in the UK over the past week and despite it being a bit windy and a bit chilly today, we thought what better time to come and see a fully electric beach buggy. Now, like I said at the very beginning of this video, this was inspired by the automotive design of the 1960s and just looking at it, you do get a real strong Beach Boys vibe. Now, this four-seater was originally designed and manufactured in France and its initial inspiration was in fact the Mini Moak. Now, just like the Mini Moak, this thing offers you really easy access because it's got no doors and your passengers can get in and out really easily with this bench at the back and there's plenty of room for all their surfboards, bodyboards and their bucket and spade as well. Now according to JLC the philosophy behind this car was to turn heads and I think they're going to do that but especially here in the UK because it's quite a unique looking car and especially considering you can fully customise it with different colours and different features so this car can look exactly how you want it to look. In terms of specific design features, we'll start off at the front and you've got this grille and headlight combination which does have a bit of a whiff of the classic Jeep design about it and as well, if you work your way around here, you've got this very, very discreet charging port and as well, you've also got this roof up here which can be taken down in the summer or on better days than this. Now, in terms of the interior, it might be a bit plain and basic on the inside of this car but there are a few modern touches to talk about so we'll just go over them quickly. To start with, of course, this is an electric car, so you've got all your modern gauges like your range down here and your speedo over here as well. But as well as that, you've got a full audio system here with your speaker and your radio. You have got this really nice rustic steering wheel, which I do like, and you've got a manual handbrake as well. But there's not a great deal else to talk about. Like I said, it is pretty basic, but one good thing is that you do have, on a day like this, natural air conditioning. I am quite surprised because I do have a fair bit of leg room here, but that will be compromised in the back because you are quite squished. But sat in this seat up front, it is really nice and comfortable and you should be pretty relaxed in a car like this. Let's go over some of the important bits like range, charging and cost, for example. And thankfully on this test model, I've got handy little cues here. So as you can see, prices start from just under £20,000 plus VAT. A charging time between four to seven hours, obviously depending on the rate of charging. And it's only going to cost you about £3 to charge. But other than that, there are also two different battery options to choose from, either lithium ion or lead acid, both of which are going to produce 96 volts and that's going to produce a top speed of 44 miles per hour. And range is also roughly about 74 miles, so not the best, but still, it's only a little electric beach buggy. What more do you want? So the first thing you are going to notice when you're behind the wheel of this is that you are getting quite a few looks. So you are going to turn heads and rightly so. I mean, there's nothing quite like this on the roads at the moment. And uh, yeah, good. It makes you feel special. It makes you feel like you're driving something uh, really unique. And probably the second thing you're going to notice is that it is obviously quite loud because you've got no doors. So the windows are permanently open and on a day like this where it has just been raining in the middle of July, it is pretty cold, but it's not really designed for days like this. I imagine you'll be keeping this pretty much tucked away in your garage or on your drive in, uh, on days like this. But when the sun's shining, you can get the roof down, get your surfboards in the back and hop down to the beach. So that's when you're gonna really, really get the full experience of this car. Now, even for a little diddy car like this, which only has a top speed of 44 miles an hour, it does pack a punch, it's pretty sharp off the line, you know, and it, it has, I've just been driving, I've not been racing anyone, not, not at all, but I have left a couple of people for dead off the lights. Obviously, you're not gonna be racing anyone in this thing, but you still, it is an electric car, so you do want it to be a little bit fast and a little bit fun, and you still want that true electric car driving experience, and you do still have that. 
Obviously, one of the benefits of having no doors is that you've got pretty good visibility as well. I mean, checking your blind spot has never been easier. I mean, there's no power steering, so you do have to fight with the steering wheel a little bit, and it is very rustic, and it is a bit basic, but you almost enjoy that. You want the full driving experience. You want it to be fully authentic and reminiscent of the era that this car comes from, and well, it does make you feel like you are properly in control of this thing. You do really enjoy being behind the wheel of it. I'm not sure how much of this you can hear because it is really loud and really windy. So if you want that true silent electric vehicle experience, I'm not sure this is the car for you. Still, it might not be a brand spanking new electric car. It might not be a Volkswagen ID3 or something new off the line, but you are smiling. You do have a smile on your face when you're driving this thing. And that's probably the biggest compliment you can pay it. I mean, Sure, it, it's a bit rustic, it's a bit basic, it's a bit plain, but it's so much fun to drive. Hello. Yep. Yep. Electric beach buggy. Yep. I have only been allowed to take this out for a little five minute flick, but to be honest, that's enough. I've really enjoyed my time in this car, and I know I was a bit skeptical because obviously it is a fully electric beach buggy in the UK. It, it's not the, not, not the most perfect fit, but you can't help but have a laugh behind this thing. It is hilarious to drive. Now, it might not be as good as some of the electric classic cars we've reviewed or some of the brand new electric cars we've featured on this channel, but hey, the no smoke is quirky and it's different. JLC said they wanted to make something that's going to turn heads and I think mission accomplished. That's all for this video. If you liked it, then please do drop us a like and remember to subscribe as well. For more electric car reviews like this, you can head over to our channel. And for daily news coverage features and much more, you can also head over to evpowered.co.uk. Thanks once again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.